Hello and welcome to That Man. That is my merchandise and today we're talking about manga. Top 10 manga for that uh, matter. So we have now got the official sales for between November the 20th 2017 up until November 18th 2018 for Japan. Um, this isn't including digital which at this point is probably going to be a huge huge thing in terms of how it would affect things and yeah it's quite interesting um, we're going to have a look into it and we're going to make some sense of some of the things that we've kind of seen uh, spoiler alert One Piece is still number one and um, well, we'll look into it there's some interesting things we can kind of discuss about that so let's get things done number 10 we have Tokyo Ghoul RE I'm not gonna lie Tokyo Ghoul was one of those series that was really really popular um, just after Attack on Titan probably about three four years ago now and over here it's kind of died down a little bit I am um, no one's really talking about it uh, I know it's starting to end I know it's had another anime series and I know that anime series was again quite popular um, but it did a really good um, of 3.2 million um, the exact amount is 3,267,843 that is amazingly well all of the stuff on here have done amazingly well um, one of the things that I want to make sure people are aware just because it's not on the top 10 does not mean it is done bad um, a lot of these are actually on the top 10 because of reprints and stuff like that. We will actually see that later on with a certain series that um, is done amazingly well. However, over half of that is actually reprints and all stuff getting uh, reprinted. So, we'll look into that. Um, but yeah, Tokyo Girl Ari, um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm, I watched the anime and I really didn't enjoy the first season. Uh, it's another one I kind of feel I should give another chance, especially with the manga. Um, I'm tend I'm tend to find stuff I didn't like in anime. I'm enjoying a lot more in the manga. So, yeah, we'll we'll I will try that out and see what we can do with that. Next up, number nine, um, a series that I've talked about quite a bit uh, on for the light novel side is that time I got reincarnated as a slime, the manga adaptation, and um, that sold 3.4 million copies and that's for the manga not including the light novel so I would say including the light novel we're definitely pushing up to about five million sales there um, again a lot of these were actually uh, reprints and um, because the anime came out they what happens is that they reprint the manga and they make sure it's on the shelves when the anime comes out and um, just to ensure everyone can get it there's some stuff like One Piece which is always in circulation um, you can always be able to find a One Piece manga uh, other stuff where it's popular sometimes then drops down you might find that a few of them they'll just be whatever's left and stuff like that they get reprints through the year really really good work on um, slime it's been worth it I, I've look, looked through the thing and especially over the last few months since the anime has been airing it has done really really well to the point that uh, at one point it was like kind of top 10 more or less um, there was about five volumes in the top ten when the anime first started airing um, it's became a massive property so we will see a lot more of this the slime series and that's great because I absolutely love it um, not gonna complain whatsoever <laughs> uh, the next one number eight is one of the ones I feel has been the strongest series this year by a long shot and that is The Promised Neverland. I am really, really excited to see this come out on anime. So these are all seals for before the anime is even hit. So this is going to be absolutely massive when the, when the series hits. And um, that sold an incredibly, really good amount of 4.2 million. Uh, 4,246,955 copies really good for something that doesn't have an anime um, for those who don't know it um, get involved with it it's so so fun um, basically children who are being born on a farm who um, 
born on a farm, bred on a farm just to be used as food. Um, it's kind of like a, they're just cattle basically and this is the, the whole thing is them trying to escape and fight back against the people who have uh, enslaved them basically. It's amazing. Um, I would say that One Piece and Doctor Stone personally are the ones that's kind of week on week they've just been consistently good whereas everything else has been like yeah, uh, yeah, uh. Um, but yeah, really happy that that's getting the uh, the seals that it deserves. I'm really happy with that. Um, the next one is The Seven Deadly Sins um, and this one is a... The, for me, I don't know why, whenever I see Seven Deadly Sins, it's always weird. It's one of those ones over here where the people are kind of like, yeah, that it's like, you hardly see anybody talking about a week on week. Um, I, haven't, I still haven't watched season two. Uh, it came out on Netflix a while ago. I've been reading the manga, um, the Kodansha releases, and it's been really good. Very quick paced. Um, you can be finishing one arc and it'll just jump into another arc without any breathing room or anything like that. And it's quite weird in how it just very much continues stuff on rather than going, yeah, here's a little bit of relaxation. It's just like, yeah, we're finished with that, they're going to go into that. Um, really happy it's doing well. Uh, I heard it's supposed to be ending next year, which is going to be... Mm, um, I think that'll do well enough. It's constantly been in the top ten for the last few years, so... Um, I think that'll do well until it until it's over. Um, number six is Kingdom, and that's done um, just shy of five million copies. That's four point nine million copies. It's uh, done. Kingdom's weird in that um, it's basically. I, I'm trying to read it. It's basically a one long gone war story. Um, if you have seen uh, played stuff like Dynasty Warriors, it's basically a manga. I mean, it's not even a manga adaptation of Dynasty Warriors, but it's kind of like feudal um, fights and stuff like that. And it's like, it's very interesting. I'm really enjoying what I'm reading. However, again, like much like Seven Deadly Sins, it doesn't have any downtime. It's just kind of like, yeah, we're in a war. This war's ended, but we're going to have another war. And um, trying to catch up on it is a nightmare. It's very difficult to read. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do it by arcs. My plan was to read a chapter a night. Or oh, was it ten chapters a night, and I quickly burnt myself out around like chapter two hundred and odd, and I never went back to it. But um, it's amazing because this doesn't have any following over, or at least much of a following over in um, English. It's also one of the most demanded ones. Um, it's one where because it's got that much content, it, the the don't think it'll ever be popular enough to even warrant an English release. And it's quite sad. It's uh, it's definitely one worth picking up, and it's one w worth um, looking into. Number five is Haikyuu, the volleyball manga. Yeah, um, I'm not going to complain. Um, five million and f five million uh, thirty thousand six hundred twenty-four units. Um, Haikyuu's still going strong. It's one of those ones that, uh, for me, kind of like... I watched season one, I was like, yeah, this is alright. And then after that, I was just like, yeah. I couldn't really get into it. Um, nothing against it. It was it. was If you like sports anime, it's a competent sports anime. Um, it, for me, it appeals a lot in compared to um, stuff like iShield 21. But it's still really popular. A lot of people like see it week on week. It's still the best thing that's ongoing. So... Um, for me, it just I just couldn't get into it. Um, I tried reading the manga earlier on this year, and I was just bored by the first after the first few volumes. But I'm really happy that it's actually doing as well as it is. Um, something that should be pointed out is that um, the stuff that for Haikyuu is that it did five million copies, and about four point two million of them were the new issues. So a lot of these have kind of like. Um, stuff like Seven Deadly Sins where it sort of did 4.8 but like only 2.5 was like the thing but so like for a lot of these yeah um, some of these is kind of like yeah it's doing really well but a lot of them are reprints um, going on to the next one number four is another sports anime and this one's a weird one because it was the re-release of Slam Dunk and they repackaged all of Slam Dunk, gave it new covers, uh, a new like release and all sorts. That did 5.2 million. Now Slam Dunk's been 
finished for about 20 years, it is still considered one of the original amazing sports manga. And for it to do 5.2 million sales in one year shows how good it is. And I think that's going to get a new anime. It's got to. There's got to be some kind of thing for it because, yeah, it it deserves it. Um, I was really amazed by that. Number three is Attack on Titan. Yeah, Attack on Titan's been going on for ages. Um, it's still really popular. Um, it's had obviously season three going on. Um, again, five point two or five point two three five million. Um, just just a little bit above uh, Slam Dunk actually. Um, not a huge amount. So, um, something to point out is that in terms of new seals, Slam Dunk was actually number two. Um, Attack on Titan was actually, in terms of new stuff, was actually number four, coming after just after Q. Um So, yeah, um, Attack on Titan. I personally, it's not for me, but it's had a season three. Uh, it's getting people back into it. Um, a lot of it was new content as well, so it's not like it's getting sold on the reprints. And yeah, um, great for it. Enough said, I, I, I can't really say much about Attack on Titan that I don't think anybody else can say. Number two is My Hero Academia selling 6.7 million units. Um, however, about 3 million of them were um, new copies. It actually had a lot more releases than some of the other ones as well. I believe it had four or five new releases as well, which puts it at around five. It's still doing well. It's still doing amazing. Um, it's had a season three. Um, it's had its movie, which has obviously boosted things. It had a massive reprint of the original content, so people can buy the original ones. Um, it's doing great. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to be number one. Um, I think it's like for this for this year, all of the stars have aligned. It's had a lot of extra help and stuff like that. But I'm really happy to see it doing really well. Um, great. Uh, one Piece. We knew One Piece was going to be number one. Eight point one million units, and out of them, seven point two million was the new ones. It's only had three releases, so on average, I think. Um, one Piece is still doing quite a bit better than the others, which is great. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything else. Uh, what can I say about One Piece? It's the series that everybody goes on about. It's still the biggest thing in Japan. Um, next year it's going to have another movie, which is probably going to boost it. Interestingly enough, this is the first time in about 10 years that One Piece has actually dropped under 10 million uh, sales, though. Um, this is one of the things I kind of point out. Uh, One Piece is like nearly it's like ninety odd volumes now. Um, it's not getting any younger. A lot of the people see it as a mountain you've got to climb before you can get into it. Um, buying them, um, not many people's going to be buying ninety volumes because they're not going to be able to store it. I'd be interested to see what the digital sales are for this one actually. Um, but yeah, it's the end of the day, I, as much as I love One Piece, I still feel like it's a it's a hard series to get into. It's a, it's a mountain for a lot of people and a lot of people are put off by it. Um, doesn't mean it's doing any worse. Uh, to be honest, like 8.1 million seals and 7.2 of them are brand new releases considering there was three releases this year. Um, amazing stuff. Really amazing. Anyways, that's it for me. Um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a kind of advent calendar worth of stuff. So you are going to see a lot of um, content from me. Enjoy that and enjoy your dear. Um, how do you feel about the sales? Um, are you happy that your series did good? If it didn't, don't worry. It still probably did well enough to get more stuff. It's not like anything under 10 was bad. Uh, unless it was like sold like one copy or something, which probably none did, but yeah, um, that's it from me. Thanks for coming, and thanks again for staying. Goodbye.